The USDA's monthly cold storage report will be released on Monday, August 22nd. Analysts predict frozen total meat and poultry stocks as of July 31st to be slightly up from the previous month and year ago figures. Pork and beef are both seen down modestly but offset by increases predicted in poultry categories. Combined pork, beef, chicken and turkey stocks in the nation's freezer warehouses at the end of July were pegged at 2.374 billion pounds, an increase of 0.7% from June and 0.9% from a year ago. Chicken, the largest category for frozen stocks, was projected at 8.36 million pounds, which would be 2.6% above the previous month and 9.1% above a year ago. Pork, the second largest category in storage, was projected at 569.4 million pounds. That represents a decline of 2.8% from June and 10.1% from a year ago. Turkey stocks were again expected to be above beef. Turkey stocks were predicted at about 523 million pounds, a gain of 3.6% from a month earlier and 5.8% over a year ago. Finally, the average for end July beef estimates was 445.4 million pounds, a decline of 1.3% from June and 3.2% under a year ago, but 2.8% above the five-year average. For a complete survey from Ernerberry Newswires, subscribers should click on the news link in Comptel. In other news, Oregon squid landings are the highest in state history. Here's Seafood News Editor Michael Ramsing with the story. Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife officials said seven dealers and 14 vessels delivered 2.7 million pounds of squid between mid-April and June 5th, one of the highest season landings in the state's history. This year was similar to another post El Nino year in 1984 when Oregon squid landings approached 1.8 million pounds. Squid prices paid to fishermen averaged 40 cents per pound this year and were as high as 50 cents per pound. Meanwhile, landings from California squid fishery were not as robust with just one third of the fisheries allotted quota hauled in. The limited landings did push California squid prices up over 60% from the average to around 51 cents per pound. Read more stories from the Pacific Squid Fishery at SeafoodNews.com and get in-depth market quotations, news, and analysis by subscribing to Erner Berry's Comtel. Thanks, Mike. Next up, poultry market reporter Terrence Wells is here with the latest on the chicken breast meat market. The chicken breast meat market has all of us sitting on the edge of our seat watching in amazement, wondering if and how much higher it will continue to go. Although most of the activity we've recorded over the last few weeks has been at an industrial level, food service movement is improving and according to some sources, so is retail. Of course, a number of plants are still clamoring about their live weights and the heat's impact on supply, which is giving sellers more power at the negotiating table. Prices have climbed more than 30 cents per pound in three and a half weeks. While industry observers may be unsure of breast meat meat's future, it's evident that the market has far exceeded everyone's expectations this summer. Thanks Terrence, that concludes today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Today's video is sponsored by the NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online, an interactive way for you to learn and understand more about the items you buy and sell. The NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online features high definition videos for all of your major red meat items. Head to meatbuyersguide.com to view a demo and sign up today.